Here it is, every Drake song ranked. But before we get into it, a few disclaimers. Drake is my favorite artist. With that being said, there will obviously be a bit of bias and this list will ultimately be subjective. I'm going to include every song from the release of So Far Gone to Certified Lover Boy. That includes What a Time to Be Alive, Scary Hours EPs, and Official Lucy's, like Right Hand, Zero to 100, The Catch Up, Duppy Freestyle, among others. Songs that won't be included are non-Drake interludes or songs featured on a project. For example, Yebba's Heartbreak and Bria's Interlude or Jersey and 4422 will not be ranked. I was debating on putting outro in the list, but it's literally some chords being played on a piano, so that won't make the list either. Also, keep in mind that Drake's weaker songs are a lot of artists' best songs. The songs I have near the bottom aren't necessarily bad, they're just not the ones I go to often. So with that out of the way, let's get started. This is not good at all, alright? The production is lackluster and kind of annoying. I don't know what Drake was trying to accomplish with this song. Even Wayne's verse was pretty whack. The worst song on Scorpion, without a doubt. At least the hook is catchy. Drake sounded awful and was trying a little too hard to put on an accent. The temp feature was just okay. Honestly, the song makes you want to sleep. Just overall boring. Drill Drake, but it's a complete miss. There's nothing viral about this song, nor is it a movie. The worst on So Far Gone. The worst on Thank Me Later. Not feeling this one. Uh, at least there's a pretty good video to go with it. After being leaked for months ahead of its official release, I already came to the conclusion that this would be Drake and Cardi's first and last collaboration. Ty Dolla Sign surprisingly didn't offer anything this time around. Future definitely knows how to take over a song, and it's evident here, but Drake is nowhere to be found. Strictly released for a Louis Vuitton campaign, it's a vibe for sure, and would have been better had he kept Young Thug's verse. When I play Nothing Was The Same Through, this is the only one I contemplate on skipping or not. Nothing special going on here. I do love the instrumental and the vocal chops in here, just never really got anything out of it. It's pretty much a party next door throwaway that Drake somehow made worse. I love the introspection and storytelling, but gets a bit too repetitive, especially with the lyrics and production. Just eh. I like the feature from Giggs, but I don't like how Drake stole X's whole flow. Genius move, but I mean, yeah, it's a birthday song. Although being at the bottom, he's definitely six for six when it comes to his intros. I'm low-key skipping this one. A part of his three-pack pre if you're reading this is too late. This is somewhat another typical slow tempo R&B cut, but actually sounds very good on this one. One time for all my Dallas people. I know it's sort of a demo track, but we needed some more Chris Brown. Funky production paired with a desperate Drake, and it's enjoyable. A Peter Bjorn interpolation of the original, and Drake did it justice. The trio of Drake, Future, and Young Thug just doesn't work. Great beat with the subpar performance. Another electrifying trap beat with your typical braggadocious Drake lyrics. Love the way he was able to feed off of the Coldplay instrumental and make it his own. A lot of people will say this is top tier Drake, but it just doesn't hit. And the J Future was alright. This track can creep up on you if not paying attention but PND and Drake have a handful of songs better than this. The most annoying, yet good song of all time. This is the last song you'll see from Nothing Was The Same for a while. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. If he had J. Cole as a proper feature, it would be top 100 easy, maybe top 50. A deluxe track on If You're Reading This Is Too Late that doesn't get enough recognition. Just okay. Two girls and they get along like I'm Lou. That is hard. I'm skipping this when playing Scorpion. This may be 21's best verse to date. The first of the assault. Drake and Cuddy sounded pretty good together. Quarantine banger that I fairly enjoy. 
forgetful to say the least. A very good way to open up his fifth studio album, Views, and set the mood for the rest. Giveon must be protected at all costs. Okay, just okay. This song is pretty fancy. iTunes exclusive back when it released and never really stuck with me like the other tracks did on Take Care. Not a big fan of the Birdman outro. Just okay. Simple, yet smooth. The beat is one of a kind. Not much to say here, just another dance hall joint. Love the beat change, and I always prefer Future on more of an R&B sided track. It's alright. Drake did his thing, but Lil Baby went into God mode. It's good. Don't sleep on Arabic Drake. The version featuring the throne is a solid two times better. Solid. The first Rick Ross and Drake collab to appear on the list, and they seem to never be able to miss. I mean, it's hype, I guess. Loved the 2 chains verse. Surprisingly highly addictive. The hook is a drug. Again, Drake and Rick Ross. It's like MJ and Pippin. I like it. Adonis. Nikki's second best feature. Very smooth R&B cut from Scorpion, where Ty Dolla Sign was able to showcase his vocal ability and the song is structured very nicely. A little underwhelming seeming that it's Drake and Kanye, but I mean, yeah, I listen to it time to time. This will be ranked higher in a few years. I don't even know, I just love it. It truly feels like a nice, brisk summer afternoon. My side girl got a 5S with the screen cracked. Classic. Gigs took over. Wheezy is on one of the best feature runs ever. That Daddy's Home sample by Montel is hilarious and great at the same time. I also love the production on this. The first song from What A Time To Be Alive to appear, and it's good, but got overplayed in my opinion. His most underrated intro. This one made the most sense on What A Time To Be Alive. One of the better songs off of CLB. One of my favorites from Wayne and Drake. Every title doing numbers like I miss Adele. Crazy wordplay. One of his most overlooked songs. I really thought this would make it higher on my list, but I do love how he used a Jay-Z slash Bobby Glenn sample. This is a low-key banger. I have no complaints. I'm sorry guys, I just never really loved this song like many others do. But this is the most 2009 sounding Drake, if that makes any sense. For those of you that don't know, there's two versions of this song. One on If You're Reading This Is Too Late, and Sorry For The Wait Too. The ultimate championship banger. Well, maybe besides Queen's We Are The Champions. You heard the man, and that's facts. The most forgotten collab of Drake and Lil Wayne. I never see or hear this song talked about. The production is top tier. At one point, this was my favorite on What A Time To Be Alive, and I played it over and over. It is a bit sobby, but it's a good song. Fun fact, I've never been to Cheesecake Factory. It didn't age the best, but it's a classic. Solid. Another hit from Drake and PND. It's good. It's annoying, but it's catchy at the end of the day. This was probably my most played song freshman year of high school. Not a fan of the little transition made during the second half. Another sleeper. College anthem for the last part of summer. Y'all may think I'm crazy, but I feel this is a perfect spot. You have a great feature from Trey songs, Drake telling us his goals and aspirations with a dark, gloomy beat to go along with it. This is the most solid song he's ever released. Great song. The most R&B Drake song. He sounds really good on this one. Another underrated song. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Rihanna and Drake seem to have the most chemistry on this. The most feel-good Drake song of all time. If it has a timestamp in the title, get ready for some major bars. 
When listening to this, CLB was promising, but we know how that ended. Did he really though? Really love that beat switch and Travis Scott's performance. At times, this is my favorite to listen to on More Life. A good outro. 7 out of 10. Still don't know how he was able to get a Michael Jackson feature. I was asleep at first. Fire. When I come around to ranking all these Drake songs in some years, I have a feeling this will be top 50, maybe top 25. The radio play for this was insane at the time. The beat is filthy. Most overlooked song on Nothing Was The Same. Young Thug's best hook and a blissful production. Some overlooked bars and the Playboy Cardi type beat is nice. Super smooth and laid back. So is it you only live once or you only live twice? Always gotta have a song dedicated to your mom. Shots left and right. Diary Drake at his best. This song was one of my earliest memories listening to Drake. Three Stacks. The weekend carried, but Drake was able to fit on it perfectly. My favorite version of Drill Drake. What an intro. How many girls has this guy been with? Classic. Featuring Dennis Graham. The keys on the production are pure bliss, and he's spitting some heat in between a catchy hook. The nerve, the audacity for him to release this and absolutely murder not only Pusha T, but Kanye as well. Truly uncalled for. Fire. Thank Me Later is full of highs and lows, and this is one of the few highs. You knew it was coming. Probably not this low, but nonetheless, you knew. I used to play this an unhealthy amount of times. One of his best songs. The only song you can keep on loop. Super, super underrated, and I enjoy PND's background vocals. I still think that Donkey Kong sample was genius. Reality check at its finest. Quentin Miller, but amazing nonetheless. Highly overlooked on Take Care. I like this song a lot. We need more Cole and Drizzy. I like this more than one dance at times. Great all around. What he did to Kanye was just not fair. And the vocal chop is going crazy. If you are, make sure to like this video and subscribe while you're at it. His most underrated song by far. This is my favorite Drake and Wayne collab. What a way to start off your first studio project. The second best song on What A Time To Be Alive. A lot of dislike to this song, and I don't know why. This has slowly grown on me the past few years. He did Kanye's beat justice. Not really sure what I like about this song, but I just like it. He's able to make me picture exactly what he's going through at the time. Great storytelling. It's just one of those you gotta dance to. I've heard this easily a thousand plus times. Great song with the viral dance. It came out in 2020 and it's in my top 50. That says a lot. This song had radio stations in a chokehold. The only song you listen to just every once in a while for it to hit the right way. Those horns are super addictive. Drake and Ross. Need I say more? I mean, he's not wrong. Go ahead and like this video if you think Johnny Menzel and Andrew Wiggins are busts. They came, they saw, and they conquered. He's going off. Stevie Wonder. That's it. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. Well, at least Drake and Kid Cudi are cool now. Uh, I just love the song. Six minutes of fuego. Samfa and Drake need more music together because when they join forces, it's a hit. This was somehow on my PSP and I had it on repeat. Production is immaculate. Y'all know what it is. I mean, it's fire and desire. Super slept on track. It's amazing. So lighthearted and a banger anyone can listen to. I first begin to float 
then the beat switch comes in, and now I'm levitating. Amazing intro. His bag is undefeated when it comes to the intros. Slept on. Just simply slept on. Top tier introspective Drake. Very similar to a song you'll see here in a bit. Just beautiful. The JLo sample is amazing. The end of Drake's prime. And what a way to cap it off. At one point, this was my favorite song. One more time for my Dallas folks. I didn't like it when it first came out, but I just kept on listening to it and it kept on getting better. Introspective Drake at his finest, paired with a constant looming suspenseful beat. If vibes were a song, hardest beat drop in existence. Trust issues, we all have them. The way Drake takes over at the end of this song, I mean, it's just S tier. He tapped into a whole new level on that third verse. That Mary J. Blige sample is world class and has some of his slickest bars. I really wish this was on Nothing Was The Same. This song has a very special place in my heart. Those strings and horns are just so powerful and he's going to keep enjoying the life he's worked so hard for. Nav on the production and the best diss track of all time. On the lowest of keys, this is his best song. What can I say? It's flawless. His biggest song to date, and I just get in a good mood each time I hear it. This is by far my most played Drake song ever. Bar after bar after bar and after bar. Drake gets the most real and doesn't let up at all. Amazing Snow Allegra sample as well. You can hear the pain and anguish in Drake's voice. Him going back and forth on many situations coming up in the rap game. Samfa's raw vocals embodies the song perfectly. I mean, you saw it coming. I don't care who you are, what you say. As soon as it starts playing, your mind is transported to another realm. He doesn't even necessarily sound that great, but it's just the whole aura of it that makes it Drake's best song ever. So there you have it, every Drake song ranked. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also leave a comment sharing your favorite Drake songs and what artists you'd like to see me do next. And thanks for watching.